In this video, we'll be looking at magnetic variation. Magnetic variation is the situation where the direction of magnetic north actually is different to the direction of true north um, or grid north. So on a map, straight up is always what's referred to as grid north and true north is usually somewhere around that location as well. We're just going to be looking at variation between true north and magnetic north. So you'll always see on a map a symbol that looks like this where the magnetic variation uh, is given in relation to um, true north. So for example, in this case the magnetic variation is 4 degrees. What complicates matters is magnetic north actually changes over time. This is referred to as variance. So where magnetic north might be 4 degrees uh, east of true north at this particular time, for example in 1980, there might be a variance of 0 degrees and 2 minutes in a westerly direction each year. So to determine the location of magnetic north at a, any given point in time, for example in the year 2017, what we need to do first of all is determine the variance. So the variance is uh, two minutes in a westerly direction per year. So the number of years is 2017 minus 1980, which will be 37 years. We can then calculate the variance by multiplying two minutes by 37 years. The best way to do this is just to use your calculator. Remember to enter minutes as 0 degrees 2 minutes multiplied by 37 and you get 1 degree 14 minutes. So that means that over the period of 37 years magnetic north has drifted in a westerly direction 1 degree and 14 minutes. So if you consider what drifting in a westerly direction will do to magnetic north, obviously west, a westerly direction is an anti-clockwise direction. So if magnetic north was at 4 degrees from true north in 1980, in 2017 it will actually have reduced that variance uh, by 1 degree in 14 minutes. So in 2017 that variance will be 4 degrees minus 1 degree and 14 minutes. So it'll be 2 degrees and 46 minutes. Obviously if the variance had been in an easterly direction then magnetic north would, drifted, would have drifted clockwise and that variance between true north and magnetic north would have increased. Now, what we're usually interested in is the bearing of a particular landmark or object. So if we had an object whose uh, magnetic bearing was say for example 90 degrees, so I'll just draw that in up here, 90 degrees. So if this was the bearing to an object, and at 19, in 1980 that was at 90 degrees, then as magnetic north drifts in a westerly direction, 
then the bearing is actually going to increase because the position of the object doesn't change. So a westerly variance increases the bearing and an easterly variance decreases the bearing of an object, the magnetic bearing of an, of an object. So just to sum up the steps involved, first of all determine the number of years multiply by the variance and then either add that variance to the bearing if it's a westerly variance or subtract it from the bearing if it's an easterly variance to get your, your uh, new magnetic bearing. And that's magnetic variance.